is just a very short example of getting started with GraphViz. Um, so I've come to the GraphViz website. I've actually already been into the download section and I've already installed GraphViz on the appropriate kind of computer for me. Um, so Windows, stable value, Windows install, um, GraphViz 2.38 MSI. And I, that's now a program on my computer. So I'm going to the GraphViz gallery. I'm picking a GraphViz I like the look of, like that one. It opens up the details of that one. And I click on the image. And this is the GV text file, the instructions that make it. And you might notice there are a whole bunch of little arrow things that matched up to the, the nodes and edges in the graph. So I'm selecting all of that. I'm copying it. I'm opening graphers on my computer. All programs, graphers, GV edit exe new and I'm just pasting in that text file. Now I've got a few very very basic editing things at the top. I've got a settings box for what kind of thing do I want to create, the various kinds of graphviz engines, the output file and if I was wanting to play with this in Inkscape afterwards I'd pick PDF or SVG. And output file, since it's now an SVG, I might say my SVG and I'm just going to save it to the desktop for a moment. So I've said where it's going to go. I'll click OK and there it went. I might just run it again just to, to bring it up the front and there is the output file. Now I might not actually want that, but now that I've got a basic graph, I could go in and start altering things. So if I chop away a bunch of stuff and I maybe change some of these details, so where it's RG2, I change it to RED2. If I now make that one, I get a very different and somewhat unconnected graph because there's now a lot of things that don't have connections and stuff like that from messing around with it. So I could just keep amending the text file with what I want until I get the output I was after. And because I was saving it to the desktop, in this case as an SVG file, and I could save with a, the GV file as well before I quit so I can open it and keep working with it later. So I've got my graph GV file, the text, I've got my um, SVG file and if I open up Inkscape, the drawing program, and I hum for a little bit while Inkscape is slowly opening up. Once Inkscape is open, I might go File, Open, where is that SVG file, I say. I find that SVG file. I will change the size of the window a bit. And generally, Object ungroup to put things into individual pieces and then colour things in. Possibly colouring in the text was not the best plan for the fill colour so perhaps I should object ungroup that one more level so the text was separate and then I will keep the text as black. You can see I can, after the fact, edit this with a certain amount of ungrouping in Inkscape. And if I wanted, I could then export as a PNG. I would like the entire drawing export 
save, and I get a, no, I'll close that save, and I get a PNG file to go with it, somewhere where I wasn't paying attention. Um, I mightn't have actually clicked export on that one, 